Yeah, after a couple of days to digest it, I mean, how would you grade your offensive line's performance on Saturday? Uh, well, I would probably give us a, a C, maybe a C plus. Um, you know, I was really proud of the effort. I, I was, I was proud of them. Really, honestly, from start to finish. Okay, and everything didn't go perfectly. You know, the one thing that we talked about uh, going into that game was was that there was going to be some adversity at all. And there, and that this week's game will be the same as last week's game. There, and the one after that, and the one after that. There's there's momentum swings for both sides, and you just you know you have to you you have to not get too high. You can't get too low, and you got to keep rolling. And uh, <clears throat> I was proud of our kids that way. Nobody flinched. Uh, and that's not just my group, that's everybody on offense, and I'm sure defense was the same way. But, uh, you know, I thought nobody flinched, and uh, I told them I was extremely proud of the effort. We gave up 14 pressures, mo and the bulk of those were really between two guys. And most of those happened later in the game. So, you know, we were responsible for one sack. Um, but I told them going in, I told them on Saturday morning, actually Friday night, you know, to me, pressures, pressures. You know, if you have too many pressures, it's worse than really getting a sack because it causes the ball to be be hurried, causes bad throws, it causes bad decisions, and uh, and that's really the piece. That's a, a huge piece of it that we have to correct. When you were How seeing those pressures, were you seeing uh, guys getting beat physically? Were you seeing? You know, mental or assignment mistakes, or was it a combination? Of no, we came out of that game as far as mental errors, uh, and I was really happy with this. We came out, I think, with four, uh, and two were two were really kind of minor. Uh, but you know, we Snowden got us on. Uh, you know, when he straight rushed us uh, outside, we had him locked up pretty well. You know, they try to they try to twist him inside, and that's really where they got us. You know, we forced we forced the switch on the tri twist. You know, pretty well, but not well enough, and. Uh, and Gabe was late uh, a couple of times on him. You know, Carter Warren got caught on one uh, on a twist uh, in the fourth quarter that I specifically remember. That's a really easy one to pick up, you know, and I really wanted to, he played, uh, you know, I played the same five guys the entire game. I felt like at that point in time, and that was toward the end, I felt like he was tired, uh, you know, and I wished I w could have gotten Van Lynn in there earlier in the game, but that thing was such a show early that I didn't want to, risk putting new guys in at that point in time. So I think, you know, a part of that was on was on me because I, I just felt like Carter Warren was was really kind of gassed at that at that stage of the game. But uh, no, I mean, um, you know, Nolan Elizio got beat on one, Carter got beat on one early, you know, uh, where Kenny had all, it looked like he had all day and then the guy Carter was on the right, the guy kind of shook loose late. I think we completed the pass, but still a pressure for me. So uh, but very few mental errors, and you know we just we have to we have to clean up that part of the game. Dave, how much did an experience play into the mistakes that you saw? Um, I I, I got to be honest with you. I, I don't I wouldn't really I don't really think that inexperience really factored in. You know we ran the first wide zone we ran. Um, uh, our the left tech, Carter Warren missed the cut on the three technique. You know which was a hard cut. Okay, but that's not really an experience. That's just speed of the game. Uh, you know, and I, I really, I didn't really feel that. You know, on a couple of twists that they hit us on, you know, it was just, uh, it was 11 being, you know, really fast. Uh, you know, and just, and again, it's kind, of, it's really speed of the game, and and you don't know what that speed is as a player until until you experience it. So, you know, check that box, and you know, now we're good. Hopefully. Uh, you had uh, talked, Dave, about most of those pressures coming late. What do you think was were the reasons for that? Do you, I mean, and how much do you think fatigue maybe uh, played a factor? How much what played? Uh, fatigue. Uh, oh, I, I I don't know. I, I you know, I, I I don't I don't think a lot. Now, the only one I really felt that on was Carter's. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but um, yeah, I, I don't really think it was fatigue. It was really kind of the flow of the game too. You know, we were down, and and we really, you know, we really couldn't run it at that point, you know, to score enough points to get back in the game. So we had to throw it a lot, you know. So it's it's obviously a little bit easier for the defense when they know they can tee off. And you know, at that stage of the game, just the, the flow of the game and where we were, you know, that's what we had to do. So, um, you know, you get enough opportunities defensively, you know, you're you're gonna you're gonna have a chance to do that. So, you know, we just we have to you know use our hands better. We have to move our feet better. Uh, I had no busted protections, which was good. Um, 
you know, so it was uh, it was a it was a good learning experience. And frankly, I think it's going to be just like it was a year ago. It's going to be on the job training here for a couple of day, a couple of games uh, until they until they get used to uh, the speed of the game. We saw some looks that we that they had not shown before. That caused some pressures, you know. And uh, I know conceptually now they completely understand it. And and that that caused some pressure. So that's on me too. Um, you know, trying to, we tried to make the adjustment in the game, and you know, just didn't translate for us. But uh, no, I don't think fatigue was a big factor. Actually, you know, my hats off to Dave Andrews and his staff down there because those kids went. Uh, those linemen had 73 snaps, 73 gradable snaps, and you know, the most they had had in a scrimmage up to that point, uh, which is pretty standard, was about 50. And I thought they were in really good shape. I mean, I was prepared to put Van Lynn and Cradle or Chase Brown or somebody in, but um, it was such a tight game, and you know everybody was you know everybody was bright eyed on the sideline, and uh, I felt good about where they were physically. So it was like, let's ride. David, under the circumstances, uh, is your grade of C plus to be expected, or are you a bit of bit of surprise that it wasn't better? Well, no, I I wanted it to be better. Obviously, I was looking for an A. Um, you know, and I know they were too. You know, I thought Jimmy Morrissey played an excellent game. I thought Bryce Hargrove played an excellent game. So, you know, talk about those two guys. They've got some experience, so that kind of translates. But um, no, it's really not what I expected, and um, uh, and we, we've we've got to learn from it and get better. But I'm um, I'm really I'm not I'm not discouraged at all. I, I love that room. I love those guys, and uh, you know, I think I think this will be a good step off point for us to. To, to really grow and uh, take a big jump forward here. You mentioned some of those backups, and I mean, do you think that's going to be in the game plan this week to maybe get some more guys some playing time and moving forward? I guess it depends on the score, how <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> tight a game it is. So right now, I'm I, I'm really not even thinking of it in that regard because this Ohio defense is uh, they're pretty salty. So you know, we'll just we'll see how we'll see how it goes. You know, Virginia obviously had a good defense too, but. You know, it's, a lot of it depends on the flow of the game. You know, we were three and out, three and out. It's like, okay, let's, you know, I wasn't ready to make a substitution at that point. You know, we had, and really we had, I mean, I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but we had the 15 play drive for the touchdown. And I thought, okay, I'm going to have to make some subs here or put some subs in. And shit, those guys were, they were awesome. I mean, you know, usually in the first game of the year, everyone's, you know, breathing like rhinos. You know, and sucking down water. And those guys were, they just came, sat on the chairs, and like, let's, what do you got for me? So I don't know. It really just depends on the flow of the game. Did you mentioned Ohio. What, what stands out as you're watching tape of the Bobcats? Well, they're, they're a lot like, uh, they're a lot like our defense. They're really, uh, they're an up the field team. They're aggressive. They're a 4 3 operation. Uh, you know, they pressure you a lot. They, uh, they're a, uh, uh, really an interior pressure team. They, the, the way that they, they line the defense up, they try to funnel everything back to the linebackers, and, and then they pressure inside, and uh, they, have, they have plenty of perimeter pressures as well. Uh, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of moving pieces in the defense. And, um, uh, you know, number 43, I really I never try to learn names. Snowden's the only guy I know because um, I just get locked in on numbers. But 43 is a heck of a player. Uh, 50, I think, is a really good player. He's listed, I think, as a backup, but played quite a bit in the Rhode Island game. Uh, 34 can run like a deer. 35, same way. He's their Sam linebacker. Um, you know, the defensive ends are very athletic. So, uh, and they they come off the ball and they, they do a good job. Uh, they do a good job stopping the run and they do a great job of pressuring it. When it came to the running game, you know, I think on the yards for carry average, it looked pretty okay. But there were a lot of times where you're saying you got behind and down in distance and end up in three and out. How do you feel like? That can be better going forward. Well, we've got to be, you know, we've got to be more efficient on, on, you know, on first and second down, whether we run it or whether we throw it, you know. And obviously, if we throw it, we need to catch it. And if we run it, you know, we need to be, we need to be more efficient, you know. And I, if you take Kenny's carries out of there, because he was really our leading rusher on scrambles, you know, there were like I think 60. I think the tailbacks had 15, 15 carries for 61 yards. So. My quick math tells me that's like 4.1 a carry, but I'm not really into average. And I, you know, I told my guys early in the week, I'm not like we talk about, you know, getting four yards on first down, and that's that's good. 
you know, but I'm into like, you know, 20 and 30 and 40 yard gains. That's what I'm used to. You know, that's what I'm used to seeing. And, and we need to do a better job of finishing blocks. We need to do a better job on our wide zone on the back side uh, of finishing those blocks. And, um, you know, and really it comes down to, uh, you know, it comes down to down to down efficiency. You know, we ran the power in there for eight yards, and I, you know, which was good, and came back with the exact same play. It was second and two, and I don't know, picked up three. Um, you know, got a first down out of it. So, you know, that was that was a good little series. We hit uh, a couple of one back powers in there for some good gains, but a lot of those uh, after the first couple of times, a lot of those were you know plus one zero. You know, so we just we've got to do a better job of uh, of really finishing the block. Dave, it's never easy, but now that you have a 4-3 instead of a 3-4 to go against, might that be a little easier for, for, your, for your guys? Well, we've got, got about 50 practices under our belt, you know, against 4-3, again, counting spring and camp. So, uh, yeah, we're a little more familiar with it, no doubt. Anything final? How valuable is that film? And how receptive are the guys as they're watching it? How much do you think they're getting? Okay, I understand. I it, it, It's clear what... What happened our game film yeah oh I make it very crystal clear to them I, I can guarantee <laughs> you that they 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 know exactly and really you know I'm, in, I'm you know like I, I I really don't have to you know I mean I have my moments but I don't have to go in and just rip their ass, you know they it's like okay let's play you know nobody sits in the locker room and says how can I screw this up today you know they they see what the mistakes are okay okay and and sometimes you look at it and you know it's like man he got his kicked okay yeah, he did. Okay, or you did. So here's the question: Why did that happen? Okay, look at your first step here, Nolan. Look at your hands here, Gabe. Okay, it's it all comes down to it all comes down to the bottom line, which is fundamentals. Okay, how play with the base, move your feet on contact, strike a moving target, and finish. And then the technique of the and really the how to, you know. And ultimately, that's what it comes down to: every play, good or bad, you know. So, uh, they're, though they're 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 very receptive to it, and um, you know we had a we had a you know and everyone was disappointed, me included, and uh, you know but it's like okay you know and I told them, I, I told them early in the week I said we're not running a hundred yard dash okay it's a marathon same thing I told them you know I, I say the same thing all the time okay as you guys are finding out okay but that's what it is it's repetition I said the same thing last year. You know, we're not, when we got ready to play Albany, I said, fellas, we're running a marathon, okay? We got 12 guaranteed. This is the first one. Win it, flush it, we got to get ready for Ohio. Lose it, flush it, we got to get ready for Ohio. You know, do we want to win it? Damn right we do, okay? Everyone put a lot of hard work into that, you know? But we've got, we've got 11 more guaranteed. So, uh, you know, we're running a marathon, and I, I think we'll just, we'll just get better and better. And, I'm, I'm excited about their attitude. I'm excited about the resolve that they showed during the game. And, um, you know, again, as I said, I think it's a great stepping off point for us and a great learning experience.